Welcome to the My Creative Days podcast, where we will talk about all things DIY, home decor, decorating tips, and creating a beautiful home on a budget. I am hoping our time together will spark a creative idea, help you plan your next DIY, or inspire you to finally tackle that project you keep putting off. Grab your favorite cup of motivation and let's chat. Hello, and welcome back to the My Creative Days podcast. Thank you for being here. Today, I'm going to talk about why you should be flipping furniture. What is the why? Why do people flip furniture? Why should you flip furniture? Um, There's so many reasons why. (laughs) Uh, So I just wanted to kind of go over some of these uh, with you and see maybe what your why is, why you have done it. Um, For me, like I've said before, I started mine. I started flipping furniture as a way to decorate our home on a budget. Uh, That was my why. I, we bought our first home, we moved in the day after we got married, and I wanted to decorate it. Like, I had binders and binders of uh, photos that I've, like, ripped out of magazines, and just, I had all these ideas and all this inspiration, and then uh, when it came time to going to look for, you know, the couch or the sofa or the chairs or the artwork or whatever it was, there was no way our budget was going to Uh, allow me to just walk into a store and buy whatever I wanted uh, to decorate the house. So I had to get creative and and flipping furniture was one of the ways that I was able to do that. I got the exact look I wanted for a lot less. And then I and then I was hooked. And then it turned into family and friends wanting to buy the pieces I had done or bring me pieces that they wanted me to make over. And then I just kind of snowballed from there. So Um, that's, that was my why, my initial why it has turned into so much more, uh, since then, which I'm so grateful for. Uh, and, uh, but I'm going to also talk about, um, other reasons why people, uh, flip furniture. It, flipping furniture looks different for everybody that does it. And, um, some people do it just for their homes. Other people do it for, you know, a little bit of extra cash or an entire like side hustle. And some people do it full time and have left their full time jobs to do it. So and I know like I know personally people that have left nursing jobs and um, teaching jobs uh, and they are making more money flipping furniture. So let me just go into some other reasons why people are flipping furniture. Um, The thrill of the hunt. You guys, that's what keeps me doing it. (laughs) There is just something about hunting for, you know, if it's like vintage decor or thrifting for um, whatever it is, the thrill of the hunt is what keeps me doing what I'm doing. And finding those pieces when, you know, you're out and about is like, it's just so, it's so much fun. So the thrill of the hunt will keep people flipping furniture. That is my my main reason and I'm teaching people you know how to do it and all of that as well but the thrill of the hunt is what's going to keep me coming back for years and years so that's a that's a a really good reason why people are flipping furniture another reason this was um we kind of put this this questionnaire out it's good for the environment um I mean it's you are recycling reusing um, pieces that would probably be either put in the landfill or, you know, wh- whatever else, but you are saving those pieces, reimagining them, making them over so they're functional and pretty and for years to come. So it's so good for the environment. Um, y- instead of buying new, you are buying or a lot of times finding for free, um, pieces that you can that are totally good they just need you know you just want to change the color or they just need a little bit of fixing or whatever it is so it's definitely um we got a lot of responses that people do it because it's good for the environment they feel like they're recycling reusing not feel like they are doing those things so they feel like it's just something green that they can do um for the way they live uh another why i kind of touched on this next one is friends and family reaching out Friends and family, I always tell everybody this that tells me, I just want to do this for my home, which that's exactly, yep, I understand that because that's why I did it. Um, But I guarantee you, (laughs) you will have one or multiple family or friends um, that see what you did or come into your house and see your pieces or whatever it is, um, and they're going to ask you to do the same. 
for a piece they have or hey could you find me a dresser and could you do this with it or um, I, I guarantee that will happen so that's that's another and that's kind of like I said how my whole furniture flipping journey kind of it just kind of went from I'm just gonna decorate our home family and friends then it was a side hustle then it's now like a full business and now I'm teaching other people how to do it so that's definitely that was part of the journey and uh, you will have family and friends reaching out to see if you will do their pieces. Another reason, and this is a huge one, um, it's a side income, a side hustle, however you want to call it. Uh, it it's, it's, anybody is, can do this as a side hustle. I, I know preteens that are doing it for money, teenagers that do it for money, um, college kids who uh, pick up pieces and make them over and sell them as a side income or extra money. Um, stay-at-home moms that want to contribute to the family income in some way but still like have mom role and be the main role um it's a good creative outlet full-time people that want to do it on the side just because they're lacking that maybe creative outlet in their in their you know daily job um and then retired people that are just looking for a little bit of extra income something that'll keep them busy so a side income is another one of the popular reasons why people are flipping furniture and then again, I talked about this one, replace a full-time job. Not kidding, this truly happens. I know many people that have left full-time careers um, because their furniture flipping job has taken off and um, they are making more money doing that in their own schedule, on their own time. They get to set their hours. They are their own boss. Um, so it definitely um, can replace a full-time job, a full-time income. Another reason why people do it is because you have an eye for the potential. I, when people, when my furniture flipping course, uh, people will reach out to me, you know, is this for me? Or, you know, I always see pieces and I know they have so much potential. Where do I even start? Or, um, in right there, like you, you're, you're step, you're a step ahead of everybody that doesn't, um, if you can, if you have an eye and you can see like this piece could be so amazing, this piece, all I would have to do is, you know, A, B, C, and D, and this would be amazing. Um, you've got the bug like you've got what it needs to do this so that's another reason and, and when people say i i know it <clears throat> i can see the potential i can see you know all the time i i look at pieces and friends and family will say what are you even looking at but um i feel like those people want and are looking for that creative outlet as well like they can see the potential they're very creative people um they can see the potential in something that many other people can't so that's another reason why people flip furniture because it just gives you that and that's a that's a, for me the thrill of the hunt and the creative the creative outlet is 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 a big pull for me i know that i need to be creative in my day every day every day in my job if i'm not creative i'm bored and so um if you have the eye for potential you can see the potential um that's another reason why people are flipping furniture and another another thing is it's it's time people it's time to start doing something for themselves like they've thought about starting a side hustle they thought of, thought about starting a business they've thought about taking this little hobby that i'm doing into a full-time thing or a side gig or they want to grow a social media presence around it and see where it can go maybe they want to start a youtube channel and they want to start sharing their projects sharing what they're learning sharing what they're doing in the furniture flipping um world and it's it's like they're like okay i want to start doing this for me i want i have this goal i have these dreams i can see really where this could go and what i could do with it and so people are flipping furniture and just taking it to that next level it's like time to finally turn this hobby into something else just for you something that you can control something that you can grow something that you can make money doing in many different you know besides just selling your pieces there's many different ways um, to make money flipping furniture uh, which I talk about in my course but um, they just want to do something for them they want to see something through they're sick of just sitting back and dreaming about it thinking about it they're finally ready to like take it to the next level and finally do something just for them and maybe reach that goal or reach that reach that dream and and, and see where it can take them so those are just a few of the reasons why people uh flip furniture uh it it's definitely a like i said a journey that i had no idea uh it could be what it is for me and our family 
when I started out decorating our first home um, on a budget, but it's been a crazy fun ride. And now that I get to, I'm like I said, the thrill of the hunt, and if I find pieces out, I'm gonna pick them up um, because the thrill of the hunt, number one, and number two, it is a creative outlet for me. But me helping other people with their furniture flipping, um, hustle, what, whatever it is. If it's a side income, if you're just doing it for your home, if you're trying to grow a business or you want to scale your business to the next level, being able to teach other people how to do it and to do it right and not waste their time, you know, on things they shouldn't be even thinking about. It's like, it's so much fun for me. It's being able to cheer other people on and um, teaching them and and having them learn from my mistakes it's like I understand now why I had I went the route that I did and why it took me so long um, it, it's so I can help other people so it, it just makes me so happy so I would love to know what your why is have you flipped any furniture have you thought about it have you maybe done a few pieces for your home and now you want to start selling I would love to hear what your why is if you are flipping furniture. Email me at lindsay at mycreativedays.com. You can always reach out to me on Instagram at mycreativedays. I would love to hear from you. Um, and if you're ready to, to start this, however, wherever you are in your journey, for your home, a side hustle, you want to grow a side hustle of flipping furniture more than where you are right now, I'm here to help you. So I would love to reach out to me. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Reach out to me and I can help you with that as well. So until next time, guys, have a great day. Hello, friends. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. I am grateful that you tune in every week and that you share the show with your family and friends. I love having creative chit chats with you. And my hope is that this podcast will inspire you to try a new project, start a DIY that you've been putting off and decorate your home exactly how you want it. There are a few ways you can help us with the podcast. Follow the podcast so you don't miss an episode. And if you could take a few minutes to leave the podcast a review, that would help us so, so much. Again, thank you for being here, and I look forward to our chat next week. Bye-bye.